Hello! In this lesson we're going to be learning how to use a Google Form as an assignment tracker. This handy little form will help you keep your documents organ organized that students submit and it will also save your inbox from a lot of clutter. It's a really nice simple form. It only takes a few minutes to create. Let's take a look and see what the form looks like. This is what students see. Every time they turn in an assignment they'll be filling out this form. It actually feels good for students to check this off the list, so I don't think they'll mind filling it out. The best part about this form is that after students complete it, a spreadsheet is created. It automatically looks like this. Everything is lined up in the right column, and you can track, keep track of all the student information here. What's very nice is you can sort it, because it's a spreadsheet, and you can also uh, see who's missing assignments, you can see what time they turned them in. But the nicest part <coughs> here and the purpose for this form is to be able to click on a link and go immediately to the assignment. Like this. The other way to do that is to go through the list of doc Google Docs and dig up each child's assignment. So this is much slicker. So let's get started. The first thing you do is log into your Gmail account and find the Gmail logo and click on Documents. Once you're there, beneath the Google logo, you'll see Create a New Form. Now, if I'm going too fast, remember you can just click on the pause button and catch up and replay over and over if you need to. The first thing we need to do is to put a title on our form, and that's something really simple, like Mrs. Oxnavad's inbox. And down below, if you wanted to include additional information, you could, but this is a pretty straightforward form, so you probably don't have to. Okay, now it's time to think about creating the questions. The first question is already set up for you, so that's all you have to do is delete the text and type the question title. Question number one should always be name, or you'll end up with a real mess. When you are done, you want to make this a required question and then say done. If you'll notice up here, this is a text question and it needs to be. This allows everybody to be able to type in their answer. So now I'm done. Now you'll see it also started me out with a sample question too. So when I click on it and go over here to the toolbar, I see three tools. They tell me what they do. And this one says edit. So I want to edit this question right now. Clicking on the button. The next question I want to create is a uh, question for class period. So I'm just going to go ahead and write period. I could leave this as a text and I could ask the students just to type it in or I could choose from the list here and make it a drop down menu. And if you're going to make it a drop down menu, always remember to make the first field please select. If you don't choose please select, you'll get false positives and everybody will just automatically choose the correct answer. So now it's really easy to write the class periods in. One, and I press return and it goes really fast. And when I'm done, I move to the bottom and I say done. Now if I accidentally ended up with an extra one, it's really easy to delete by clicking on the X right there. So now you've had your have your first couple of questions created and it's time to create some more. You'll need to remember title of assignment. And so I'm going to add a new item up here and I'm going to choose a text question because we really can't choose that from a list. And I'm going to say title of assignment and leave it blank. Make it required. Make it done. Okay time to add one more question. So again, I go up to add item and I select and it's also going to be a text question. This question is going to be the most difficult one. I'm going to ask students to link to the assignment and I'm going to suggest in the help task that they copy and paste. What students will do when they share their assignment now, they won't share it with you. They will get the link and copy and paste it here. This will end up, this will keep it out of your mailbox. So again, this is going to be a required question. Now the last question that I think you need is something that is a paragraph text. A 
Prepare Wrap Text lets you make it a larger option. And I always just like to give students another chance to answer whatever, to tell me whatever they want to tell me. So I say anything else. I'm not making this required this time. Now, I'm um, working this morning with a couple of teachers. They also suggested that we might want to have feedback rate the difficulty of this assignment from one to three or something like that. You could add another general question on if you wanted to simply by adding an item. What I should mention to you is you can also move things around so if you don't like the order. I ended up with an extra question so I think I'll delete it by clicking on the garbage can here. Okay so the basics of building the form are done and if you'd like to preview it, you can just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click here. And you'll get to see your form. This is what students get to see. You can copy this link and paste it onto your website so that students can easily access this and then they'll come directly to it. So that's all set up. Oftentimes teachers want to make their form a little cuter and if you click here <coughs> under theme plane you see all kinds of pages and pages and pages of themes that you can experiment with. And I'm just going to click, choose one right away, right there. And it shows up here, and I'm just going to apply it. Okay, now you don't see it here, but you do see it when you preview the form. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about here is to go ahead and change the greeting, the message that students see after they've submitted their assignment. So you're going to go to More Actions, Edit Confirmation. Now here it says, Thanks, your response has been recorded. But I don't think students are going to like that too much. So instead you might say, Thanks for turning in your homework. And that might make them feel better about doing it. And just say, Say. Okay, this form is basically created now, and again, you'll need to view it, copy the link here, and paste it into your website. The next part of the tutorial is going to teach you how to access the form. When you open up your list of Google Docs, you should see your form right here. Just go ahead and double click to open it up but you're going to be surprised because you don't see the actual, doesn't look like the form in editing mode. This is a spreadsheet that you'll see. When students submit it, the information will automatically populate here. If you want to go back and edit your form, click here, Form, Edit Form. And that's how you edit your form. And again, if you wanted to view it, you go ahead and click down here. I'm going to go ahead and complete my form. So you can see what happens um, okay when I submit this form just like I was a student I'll show you what you see immediately right away that form populated with all this information so that's how it works there's really not a lot of extra work for you uh, I wanted to show you a few more things. If you want to sort, you can go into Tools to Sort, um, just like you could an Excel spreadsheet. You can also export this to Excel if you wanted to. Um, something else you can do is you can click on the row and change colors. So maybe you wanted to highlight all the missing assignments, you could do that. You can also um, view the results of your spreadsheet in a graph, and that's kind of interesting. When you go to Tools, ooh, it's Form, Show Summary of Responses, you get a graph. And so if you had a lot of different answers, you'd have an interesting graph. Sometimes it creates a pie graph, sometimes it creates another graph. So let's do not share with you and how to instead copy the link and paste it into the form for submitting. And that is a different tutorial, which is should be found on the same page. Thanks.